So as we get uh, top end prices, now let us understand how we can actually get top end priced products from our original um, uh, collection, which we have created out of uh, this products group by category um, earlier. Okay, so I'm running these three lines of code once again. Okay, and top end prices give um, the, uh, the top five prices in this case, because I, I am passing five as argument as part of take, and they are top five unique prices. Okay, now to get top end priced products, I have to iterate through uh, product citable, okay, and uh, do the lookup into these uh, top end prices, and if the price matches, then I have to get it. Otherwise, I can ignore. And the way I want to get the data is again in descending order by uh, product price itself. Okay. So for that, there are multiple ways to to achieve this, but I feel this is the most effective way. First, let us get all the products in descending order by price. How can we do that? Take this product iterable. It is of type iterable. And if you actually run products iterable dot and hit tab, you will not see, you will not see the APS to sort the data. To sort the data, we have to convert into list. Sorting operations are only permitted on list. So to sort this data, first I have to convert into list. Okay, so here I can say to list. Once we sort the data, either we can use sorted to sort the data in natural order, sort by to, to customize the, the sorting logic a bit. And if it is a bit complicated logic, we have to use sort with. So in this case, I just want to sort by the price. So I can use sort by here and each product I want to extract the price by splitting. Our product is nothing but uh, of type string where we have the entire information. So dot split, comma is the delimiter. And this will give the product price and we have to typecast it to float. And I have to negate this. Okay, so let's name it as val products sorted. Okay, I'm copying this one. And pasting it here. Okay. Uh, you can see now the data is sorted in descending order. As it is there, we can directly say for each print ln. And you can see the data is sorted in descending order by price already. Now we can actually look up into the product prices. And as long as the price is greater than uh, greater than or equal to of the minimum of the product price, which we capture as part of the top end prices, we should uh, return the data. For example, if you look at this, Top end prices have these uh, prices. Now, our original data is also sorted in descending order. As long as this component, okay, is greater than or equal to this one, we are good to go. We just want those records and we can discard the other ones. We, we don't need these things because um, the prices are not greater than or equal to the last price. Okay, so for that reason, here I will create a variable val min of top end prices equal to top end prices dot min. Okay, I can copy paste this. Okay, which is 99.99. And then on top of this product sorted, 
products sorted dot hit tab if you hit tab there are many functions one of the natural uh, function uh, one of the function that come to my mind naturally is filter because filter is the one which we typically use to uh, to compare okay but with filter whether you require or not you have to iterate through the all the records you have to iterate through all the records and if if it is greater than um, the min price you can uh, um, return if it is less than you can discard but if there are thousand records for this key just to get this top 10 uh, first 10 records which are already pre sorted we have to still go through thousand records if we use filter so filter might not be the most efficient function after looking through these functions after glancing through these functions and after using some common sense and all um i i determine i have determined that take while is the better better one so if you look at the syntax of take while it also uh, takes a function similar to filter and this is a scala api here we are all using uh, uh, after converting uh, 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 one of the record into a collection into a scala collection we are only exploring scala collection apis so map which i have used earlier uh, which have mentioned a filter which is mentioned just now and also this take while all, all these are scala apis these are not spark apis so if you look at the filter as well as take while the syntax looks same okay here you can see that uh, it takes a function which accepts one argument and returns boolean filter also does the same thing but the functionality is significantly different take while runs only up to uh, up to the time where the first time the condition will return false okay if the uh, if the condition return false once it will not process further as our data is already pre sorted like this once we see this record where uh, the price is less than the minimum of our top five prices we can just ignore we we don't need to process further because our data is already pre sorted okay hence we should use take while which is a bit more efficient than filter so i will be using take while here so now going back to here val top n priced products equal to products which are already sorted dot take while okay and then for each product i have to do the lookup product dot split comma four dot two float okay greater than or equal to min of top n prices now if i copy this and paste it here you can see we got top n priced products and we can copy this paste dot take off or uh, we don't need to use take just use for each print ln and hit enter you see we got top 10 priced products or top 5 priced products uh, in this case you can see from 169 to 99 everything is returned so now let us embed this logic as part of the main function itself okay so i just have to copy these things and finally i want to return top n priced products so this is the functionality which we will be returning okay now let me create this function paste it here okay 
already uh, we have a product citable which is which matches this thing okay so i will be passing that as argument with five as integer and we will see whether i will be able to get top five pro priced products or not so here i am just saying get top n price products it takes two arguments one is product citable which is already created earlier as a variable and then let's pass five and hit enter and we can say for each println and you can see we got the data the way we need if you just want to get top three top three priced products i can now say comma three and it only give top three priced products which are 16999 14999 and 13999 this is how you can come up with the functionality uh, using scala based apis um, uh, for this a bit complicated logic now as part of the next topic i will try to integrate this with the output on the group by key and get the desired output for each category as of now we just tested with one collection um, and uh, 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 now we have to integrate with group by key to apply this on all the collections for each category and we will see that as part of the next topic